Like John breaks your balls all the time. Right. Like, like John was relentless on me at, at all costs. And I couldn't <laughs> breathe. And uh, so um, now when he left that apartment on 65th Street, the infamous apartment, yeah. he left it a fucking shithole mess. How, like, like yeah, listen, he, like, John, he nailed dirty underwear to the fucking wall. I they would see, nail, nail from the, the, his nails. His, the, the, he, he John, his John, nails. John lived so disgusting. I would say to John as a joke, John was half Puerto Rican, half Danish. I'd say, did you get any of the Danish? <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> any of the fucking Danish? No. So, his, his fucking car smelled so now, like a piss hole. Oh, you know, it was disgusting. So I, I'm cleaning the apartment, and I go behind... The toilet to clean it, and all of a sudden I pick up it's a, it's a prescription bottle. Right. John Melendez, um, what is that that stuff was called? Um, Valium. No. Oh no. Oh Prozac. Prozac. Right. Right. The and I go breast. Prozac. So now I'm like, yeah, God forbid you fuck with John. No, I was, I was like, right. what would John do? <laughs> of course you know what he'd do. <laughs> and so I he go in. Fuck you. Oh, in, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Wait. So I go and I go to Robin. I go, well, what do I do about this? She goes. Oh, I know what to do with this. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. So now it comes out on the air. Of course it does. And, and so now, and now, but afterward, John like, closes the door. He goes, "You know, girl, I, I, my mother was going to find out about that oh, now." Like he was like him. almost in tears. I was like, "You wouldn't fucking, you wouldn't piss on me if I was burning you." He alluded. He alluded to. I, I was in a, in a in a relationship, a, a committed fucking relationship, and he alludes to the fact that I got laid in San Diego once oh. on the air. And I go, "What the fuck are you doing?" He goes, uh, "You know the rule. If you don't tell me not to say it." I gotta say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, you can't figure out. I don't want you to fucking say that. It's a guy code, asshole. Yeah, yeah man, man code. Like, man guy yeah. code. Man so, uh, are you talking to John at all? Is there anything going well, on? Well, no one really talks to John. I know. He's uh, so on fire. No, like, no, no, no. He, he, J John, listen. John, again, is my brother. We went through a lot of crazy shit together. I, I, and I did him a big solid, bro. He fucking came to me. He got that job on yeah. Leno. I'm the only one he confided in. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, people confided in me on that show. I'm like, how did I become the Judd Hirsch on Taxi? <laughs> <laughs> you were the go-to guy. I'm the most out of control motherfucker there is. So yeah. John says, uh, I'm getting a job on the fucking Jay Leno show. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, dude, he tells me this four months before. I go, you have to tell Howard this right now, dude. He goes, he'll fuck up the deal. I'm like, no, he's not. Him and, first of all, Leno, I, you know, I had dinner with Jay Leno about three years, about uh, six years ago. He saw, he, he was playing the big room at the Borgata. I was in the other room. I get off stage and my road manager says to me, Leno's in the other room. He wants to have dinner with you. So he bought me and my uncle and my girlfriend at the time dinner. The nicest guy. And I go, w w what happened? And I goes, well, you know, I wanted to tell him. I go, listen, I mean, you know, he paid the guy 80 grand a year. I gave him 300 grand a year. I thought he wouldn't care. But, you know, I, Leno was nice and everything, but it was up to Leno to call Howard and go, listen, I want one of your guys. Like, I want one of your major guys to come do this. But and first of all, you know, again, John, and John got mad at this analogy. John is the reason we fought the Revolutionary War. Never has someone done so much with such little talent. Yeah. John is not a comedian. He's played every club in, in the country. John is not a musician. He had a record deal. John has a speech impediment. He had the single most coveted voiceover job in the history of television. Yeah. He was the announcer. I mean, he's the reason America exists. Yeah. And, um, you know, so... so he's so, the American dream. Well, he's, he's, the also, American dream. He's, also, he's also the biggest like hustler I've ever met. He is. He's and, awesome. And he's also a conniver. But when he got a conniver, when he got that job, when he got and, that and job, in a good way. he comes to me and he says, I I'm doing what should I do? I go, you gotta tell Howard right fucking now. And he go, and then he gives me the shit, but you as a friend, you can't tell him. So look, I'm a good friend, but I was also Howard's friend. I'm like, this, you put me in a shitty position, but if you want me not to tell him as a friend, I won't. And I knew it was gonna fucking happen. We go to Atlanta, we go to Atlantic City. Again, Howard being so generous, got us all rooms at the Borgata. Uh, for Valentine's Day 2004. John, John, Howard, he call, he's about to quit two days later. He calls Howard. Howard calls my room. I'm with Dana. He's with Beth. And Howard's like, did you know about this? Howard's going to, uh, John's going to that show. I'm like, Howard, he told me, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, we're going to destroy Leno Monday. Get ready. So again, I'm a hitman. Yeah. I'm like, all right. First of all, I'm a comedian. I'm going to fuck with the host of the night show. But I'm loyal to Howard. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I could have done it the night show. And Howard never told me not to either. He never told me not to. Out of loyalty to Howard, I didn't do it. But I said, John, you're, you're fucking surprised you're catching shit? You know, you just ruined Leno's life for four years because yeah. well, every morning it was an hour of how Leno sucks. John did shit I couldn't... I'm like, what show have you been on, bro, for the last fucking 20 years? You know, you know yeah. what's going to happen.